Dell unveiled a new line of laptops in CES 2022 at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. With top-of-the-line hardware, exceptional build quality, and the most up-to-date technologies integrated, Dell announced the bold XPS 13 Plus as their theme product. But just because it's newer doesn't mean it's better. So in this video, we're going to do a detailed review of the new XPS 13 Plus, including its good and bad features. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video from us. Now, let's get right into the video. Like Apple is getting more concerned about the phone and removing all the accessories from the box, Dell is now following the same pattern. As a result, the XPS 13 has undergone several modifications throughout its production, such as making the device more compact and less bulky, while also delivering bigger and brighter displays and components. The 2022 XPS 13 is a much bolder update than the previous generations. Being only 0.6 inches thick and weighing around 2.73 pounds, the Dell XPS 13 Plus is the slimmest and lightest laptop the company has ever produced. And if you're looking for a laptop that is exceptionally lightweight and can fit into your bag, Dell XPS 13 could be the best choice for you. Numerous features have been removed, but it's still as amazing as it sounds. The outlook and build quality are as good as possible with no bending, flexing, or twisting. The new capacitive touch function row, which enables you to switch between the function keys and the media controls, is likely to be the most significant change for the majority of users. Given that Apple removed the touch bar from the MacBook Pro, it comes as a surprise to see another laptop manufacturer adopt something functionally analogous to what Apple removed. But there is some good news. Regardless of what you do, the positions of the keys will never shift, and they will remain the same throughout the entire game. The Dell XPS 13 Plus continues to feature a four-sided Infinity Edge 13.4-inch display. However, Dell claims that it has reduced the number of layers on display to improve visibility and reduce the device's overall weight. The OLED display of the Dell XPS Premium appeared bright and vibrant in person. However, there is a wide range of customization options available. It comes with a panel that has a resolution of FHD+, 1920 by 1200 and a brightness of 500 nits. Additionally, there is a touchscreen version of the same display, and you can upgrade to the 3.5K OLED touch display if you want more resolution. This display has better colors, perfect blacks, and wider viewing angles than the standard display. However, the brightness is only 400 nits. The resolution can be increased with a 4K LCD touch display, which also has a brightness of 500 nits. Anyone who has been watching headphone jacks gradually be phased out of their favorite smartphones and is worried that the same thing will eventually happen to laptops should know that it appears to be happening now, at least with the XPS 13 Plus. According to Dell, the fact that the majority of people now use Bluetooth justifies the removal of a 3.5mm headphone jack from their products. At this time, the only ports available to you are a pair of Thunderbolt 4 ports located on either side of the laptop. Even though these ports are just as adaptable as they've ever been, it's a shame that the laptop user will have to rely so heavily on a docking station to complete any kind of substantial work. The wireless features of the Dell XPS 13 laptop include an Intel Killer Wi-Fi 6E for dependable internet connectivity, as well as Bluetooth 5.2 for uninterrupted audio playback and file transfers. But there are some bright spots as well. The keyboard, which always offers an exceptionally pleasant typing experience, now extends all the way to the physical edges of the laptop. It is possible that in the long run this will become problematic because things will get caught on the outer keys but only time will tell for sure. Dell was able to improve the webcam in some ways, but not in the way you might expect them to have done so. In addition, the display is outstanding. Instead of increasing the resolution to 1080p like many of Dell's competitors are doing with their Ultrabooks, Dell opted to implement a split IR camera and light sensor, which improves the device's performance in low-light environments. This was something that absolutely needed to be done. But before we can determine whether or not it was worthwhile to go for this instead of simply increasing the resolution, we will need more time with the device. The Dell XPS 13 Plus has a 55 watt per hour battery than the regular Dell XPS 13's 52 watt per hour battery. However, the Plus has a more powerful CPU, which means that its larger battery won't necessarily translate into longer endurance. So seeing how the XPS 13 Plus performs in our web surfing battery test is something we eagerly await. 
With Dell's Express Charge 2.0 technology, the XPS 13 Plus's battery life can be charged to 80% in under an hour, according to the company. But until some random reviewers don't confirm it, it's a mystery. The top-of-the-line Dell XPS 13 Plus notebook features an Intel Core i7-1280p processor, a 12th-generation Alder Lake processor with a 24MB cache. This processor can be found inside the laptop. The standard model of the Dell XPS 13 had a processor rated at 15 watts, while the XPS Plus model had a processor rated at 28 watts. The laptop comes standard with 8GB of RAM, but it is also available in 16GB and 32GB capacities. A storage capacity of 256GB solid-state drive all the way up to 1TB is also available. In addition, Intel Iris X graphics are included in each and every one of the brand new Dell XPS 2022 Plus laptops. Even if you don't plan on configuring this laptop with more powerful processors and RAM, it's going to cost a little more than other versions of the Dell XPS 13. Talking about the price, the device is expected to come in a price range of $1,200 to $1,400. Although Dell did not feature the exact specifications for this configuration, the regular model will likely get the lowest specs listed. Additionally, Dell announced the release date to be in the first quarter of 2022, but the plans were delayed and now we're expecting it to hit the market in the second quarter of 2022. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching our content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.